So today, meron na naman tayong isang i-discuss na topic about AdSense to give you an idea kung paano po yung monetization process. Because today, finally, na po. Ta-da! Kahapon ko siya natanggap and um, para mabigyan ko kayo ng konting timeline. Ano? I was uh, monetized last August 18 and natanggap ko siya kagabi. So it took me a month bago ko nakuha tong confirmation letter ni Google AdSense. Ano bang meron dito? This letter contains yung PIN to verify your address. Ano po? Although, take note, before kayo makakuha ng AdSense confirmation ng PIN, you have to fulfill Google's requirements um, and those are 1,000, at least 1,000 subscribers and the next would be at least 4,000 public watch hours. Alright? Kapag na-fulfill nyo na po yung mga requirements na yun, that doesn't mean automatically you will be monetized. You have to apply for monetization. Um, madali lang po yung process. Step one will be creating your AdSense account. Step two, your channel will undergo YouTube's review. Iscan niyo yung channel niyo to verify na lahat ng videos niyo nga pala is in compliance na with Google AdSense policy. Kasi this time, hindi lang po kayo solely nakadepende kay YouTube's community guidelines. Meron na rin po kayong AdSense policy. Those set of policies will enable advertisers to advertise on your channel kasi ini-scan nila yung channel nyo to verify na each and every videos nyo will qualify for those sets of policies that is advertiser friendly. Siyempre, tandaan natin, kaya tayo kikita kay Google is because of advertisers. Then third step would be, you will receive a notification email saying that you're qualified to be a YPP partner. Marami po kayong kailangang basahin doon and please lang, do comply with Google's policy para naman maiwasan natin ang demonetization or non-approval doon sa application ng monetization natin. Alright, now going back, ano po, once na-fulfill nyo na yung requirements and nakapag-apply na kayo, hindi pa rin po tayo pwedeng sumahod kay YouTube. The next thing that needs to happen is for you to verify your PIN, which is this one. Google AdSense will send a letter, a physical snail mail letter, dun sa address na dineclare nyo, kaya siguraduhin nyo pong tama, ano? Yung address na nilagay nyo dun, para po matanggap nyo yung letter. And then, once natanggap nyo na yung letter, you have to put that PIN into your AdSense account. And I will show you in a bit kung paano po. However, eh, na naman, ano? After creating an AdSense account, hindi po sila kagad magpapadala sa inyo ng PIN. You have to reach at least 10 US dollars, at least 10 US dollars or equivalent doon po sa revenue nyo. By the time na nahit nyo yung threshold na yon, that's the only time na magpapadala si AdSense ng PIN. After after qualifying for the YPP program, it doesn't mean that AdSense will automatically send a PIN to your house. Again, we have to reach that 10 US dollars threshold first before Google sends a PIN to your home address. Just to give you a bit of a timeline, I monetized ako a month ago, di ba po? 18 August. And then I reached uh, the $10 mark threshold after two weeks. And then two weeks after, natanggap ko na siya. Which means, nandun talaga siya within two to four weeks time, like what they declared. Malalaman nyo naman na pinadalahan kayo ng PIN dun sa Google AdSense account nyo. Tapos mula dun, abangan nyo na sa mailbox nyo, ba? Usa natin. Okay, so now that we've got all side edges torn apart, natanggal na natin yung mga side edges. I'm blacking out this section kasi po dito nakalagay yung PIN. No? So, next thing that we need to do is to input this PIN into your Google AdSense account. Pero bago po tayo magpatuloy dun sa mga bago sa channel ko, please don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell para naman po updated kayo sa mga bagong uploads natin gagaya ng ganito. By this time, let's go to Google AdSense and try to enter the PIN. There will be some sections on this particular screen na iba-black out ko po, ano? 
Ibablock out ko kasi syempre nandiyan yung mga details natin like estimated earnings and balance. Step 2, click the gear icon and select payments but on this case, kita nyo naman, mag appear siya dito. Verify your billing address or dito sa upper part. So, all we have to do is just click verify. Ano po? Oh, by the way, a while ago, uh, if you remember, I told you guys that AdSense themselves will notify you kapag sinend na nila yung PIN on this section. Nakita nyo po, no? The PIN was sent September 7. Now is 18th. Alright, let's go ahead and click verify. You only have three attempts. And gagaya ng sinabi dito yung natanggap ko na letter is meron din talaga siyang six-digit PIN. So, we'll just have to encode it on this field. Imamask ko na lang po yung, yung section ng PIN. Ano. Siyempre, kasi confidential. Alright. Click Submit. And there you go. Billing address has already been verified. So, this is good to go. Kita nyo na wala na yung to-do list. Kasi na-fulfill nyo na yung isa sa mga requirements. Refresh natin yung page. Sana mawala na yung red bar na to. There we go. Your address has already been verified. So hopefully, next stop, next target natin is yung $100. 100 US dollars threshold para ma-withdraw natin. Ngayon, nandito po tayo sa AdSense Payments Threshold. Ano po yun? Isa to dun sa mga bagay na kailangan yung ma-achieve in order for you to do a payout or sumahod. Ano po? Now, let's scroll down. Nandirito po ito sa policy ni AdSense at nakasulat siya dito. Alright. Threshold values per currency. Ano? In order for you to verify your address, ibig sabihin po nun, bago magpadala siya uh, AdSense ng PIN sa inyo to verify yung uh, address nyo, kailangan nyo ng 10 US dollars. At least, ano po? And, payment naman. Ang sahod. No? Ang unang sahod natin bago natin ma-withdraw, kailangan natin is at least 100 US dollars. Ano po? Nakasulat po yan dyan. Again, let's try to make it a point to always read their policies para naman po meron tayong reference na talaga namang galing mismo kay Google. Ano po? Okay. Very fulfilling yung journey kasi magkakaroon kayo ng sense na at least may na-achieve kayo, di ba? Yung ganun. Of course, sa una, hindi ganun kalaki talaga yung sasahurin nyo sa YouTube. Don't expect na talagang, not unless, no? Not unless meron kayong mag-video na talagang mag-viral and sobrang trending. Just enjoy creating contents that is meaningful, yung meron naaambag sa society, kumbaga, di ba? May napapala. Or entertaining, whatever it may be, whatever your content may be, just as long as na-enjoy nyo, no? Yun naman nilalagay yung pinaka-importante doon. And para makapag-build tayo ng fanbase na talaga namang manunod at manunod ng videos nyo pa ulit-ulit. Another factor would be yung complexity ng address. Take into consideration yung address. Ano po, kung mahirap mahanap yung address nyo, maghanap po kayo ng address na mas madaling mapapadala ng sulat. <laughs> um, para mas mabilis nyo pong matatanggap. And I hope this has been informative. Sana po kahit pa paano nakapagbigay ako ng insight sa inyo regarding my monetization journey and kung paano nyo po matatanggap, gano'ng katagal and kung ano yung nandirita sa uh, AdSense letter na matatanggap nyo. At syempre, ano po, kung natuwa naman po kayo dito sa video na to and I hope meron rin ako na-share sa inyo, please don't forget to click the subscribe button and notification bell para naman po updated kayo sa mga susunod natin uploads kagaya ng ganito. Maraming salamat po at paalam. Peace!